Helena, Montana is one of the most unique capital cities in the U.S. While other parts of Montana may get more attention as adventure destinations, Helena flies under the radar. But Helena is a gateway city with access to hundreds of miles of hiking and biking trails right from the doorstep of downtown. The Continental Divide Trail is one of North America's most treasured long trails, and it runs right along the edge of the city. Over the next week, I'm exploring, hiking, and playing on the Continental Divide, the backbone of America. So I'm meeting up with Bob and Megan of Stone Tree Climbing, and they are some of the community leaders here for the climbing community, and they have really helped establish and promote safe and responsible climbing here in the area. And truly one of the things that really surprised me about coming in to a city like Helena, that there was awesome climbing right out of the back of some of these neighborhoods. You could go to the end of the neighborhood roads and all of a sudden you're on the trails and then you're ready to climb. Wow. So this is Ainsley's route. It is one of the first routes that came, that we that was put up on Mount Helena. That's beautiful up on that arete. with this spectacular view here. Yeah. Looks like the lightning is now hopefully <laughs> far enough away that we can safely be up here. You guys feel good about it? I feel good about it, yeah. I All feel right. good about it, All yeah. Right. Well, I'm stoked. We're gonna be okay. We are going to be safe. All right. Have some fun. I'll see you up there. Climbing is this beautiful combination of stoke, natural beauty, and a little bit of nerd. Not hitting the ground today. Nope. Mount Helena is really accessible for anyone who is gonna go climbing. We have really safe, accessible routes for that, uh, but you also have challenging routes for someone who wants to climb a little bit harder. Of course, you're making it look too easy. You're setting the bar too high for me. <laughs> Right on, climbing. I'll see you soon. Anytime that I go out climbing, I do feel a little bit of nervousness about getting on rock, about maybe taking a fall or something like that. And it takes a minute to kind of work that out. Oh, it's feeling good up here. I was really excited to get on the rock to climb with Megan and uh, she led the first two pitches and just getting up and following, doing the follow climbing and cleaning up the route after her, picking off the quick draws, clicking them onto my belt. It felt really, really good to be back out here. Cool, it's good to see you again. Yeah. <laughs> Anything I should expect in this little bit of the pitch? It gets a little more vertical. Sounds fun. Cool. All right, climbing. Climb on. The views from this climb are stunning. So I'm on this arete, which is a fancy French word for meaning like the corner or the edge of a rock wall. Okay, climbing. Climb on. And so as you're on this arete, you kind of got this exposure factor where you can see way down one way and you can see way out the other way. And it just makes you feel like you're in the middle of the sky. Yeah, this part is cool. Woo. Now you're to the top. Super fun. Yeah. Sorry to make you wait so long. Oh, that's okay. Woo, yeah. Uh, Good job. You too. Nothing to see here, folks. Everybody's being safe. Everything's fine. So, is there something else that you recommend that we do? Yeah, there's another one. Again, everybody, we're being entirely safe. Woo, spicy up here. Woo. So unfortunately, the day has been cut short with climbing. So Megan and I just finished climbing two pitches here on Mount Helena, and uh, a thunderstorm is moving through. We just had a pretty close clap of thunder, which is our cue to get off the mountain. We would love to stay around and climb some more because there's amazing climbing and routes, but it's time to get down and get safe. Hey, we did it. We did it. Okay, we, made it. we did it. Good job, team. There's not a lot that is more satisfying than a good day of mountain biking on a great trail. And I feel privileged to ride here today. So I met up with Brian and Portia, literally right in town. You guys ready to party? Yeah. Cruising? Hitting the trails yeah. in Helena, Montana. Here we go. 
One of the coolest things about riding here is that you can literally just set off straight from downtown, head up Reader's Alley, and you are on the trails before you know it. And that's special here. So this is Reader's Alley, kind of a classic spot for, well, what? It's the oldest road this in is, This Helena? is kind of the original downtown Helena, that's yeah. Pretty so we're sweet. just kind of cruising up the streets as they would have 100 years ago, the I guess. The original trail. All trails now point back to Helena, which is kind okay. of great. So we're right down here and we're gonna ride up a couple switchbacks, kind of the last push of the climb. Yeah. It's about 1,200 feet and just under two miles. And so not too bad. And then it's basically nice descent flow, you know, all the way back, five miles back into town. So it's kind Pretty of- flowy. A, yeah, it's super flowy, fun. Well, I'm stoked to ride with you guys. This looks like a phenomenal day ahead of us and uh, flowy and fun. Heck yeah. Let's make it a good time. Let's make it happen. Cool. All right, Portia. I'm not on the enduro circuit. Hey, you know what the good thing about enduro is? We go slow up and fast down. Okay. So. Well, I'm, I'm slow up and slower down. <laughs> All right, we'll make it fun. All right. Cool. That's so cool. One of the things around here in Helena is you gotta go up to go down, right? So there's very few trails that don't involve about, you know, anywhere from, you know, 600 to 1200 feet of vert just to kind of get into where you want to be able to have a, a fun flow downhill. Can you see the Continental Divide Trail or anything like that from here? Yeah, actually, I think you guys are gonna be heading up there pretty soon on the, to do the llama pack, and you can actually see the entire ridgeline, which is the CDT uh, corridor. That's so sick, yeah, the access here is amazing. It's spectacular, we got all these tall grasses and wildflowers, and couldn't ask for a better day. Gentle breeze, keeping us cool. It is stunning out here. Oh yeah. Downhill from here? Heck yeah, guys. Pretty much. Fun cruising. The setting is drop dead gorgeous here. So much of the trail, you're actually following this ridge system and it is such a beautiful and inspiring place. And I feel privileged to have been able to ride here today. Push winds. The trail we rode today was more of a flow trail. So it did have a few like rocks here and there that you want to maneuver through. But for the most part, it's all about just keeping speed and flowing through all the corners. Here's that scary corner. Uh-oh, uh-oh, here we go. <laughs> Riding with Portia and Brian is a true experience because they are legit riders here. Portia is literally a professional rider. So I'm just doing my best to keep up out here. That's for sure. The whole time. Right <laughs> this isn't an enduro race. Shit, there we go. Wow. I came in third. Yeah. But that's all right. That, that was a blast. Oh, man. That's definitely one of our favorites. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. That's so sick up here. I'm so jealous that you get to ride this all the time. Yeah. Thanks so much. Yeah. Should we go get a beer? Let's yeah. go get a beer. I think that's all right. awesome. Let's do it. Apparently, every trail ends at a brewery here in Montana. We're gonna head off to Blackfoot Brewery and have ourselves a beverage to celebrate our day on the trail. You know, we're here in downtown Helena on Reader's Alley, and this is, this is kind of where I grew up. This is my favorite place to be. I'm a mountain biker, I'm a trail runner, and I love everything about this town. 